Now this is the end of day one of this trip. We've got a bit of work done, not quite as much as I'd like to have done, but a fair bit of it. Mark has been very good at taking the bits apart that we carefully need to take apart and he's going to come back on Friday and continue with his good work he's been doing. So without further ado, that's Simon and Michael out for the day. Bye! Good morning, it's Simon back at Wood Plumped again to do some more work on charts. Today we're going to continue to tackle the transom, taking off the original plywood skin off the back of the boat and then hopefully get on to some more jobs including the rib repairs and also try and sort out the starboard deck where the actual beam shelf and the can are in the wrong place and to try and prop up or at least clean up the area so that she can be supported on the starboard hand side and brought back into shape again. Because as I've shown you before that the starboard hand side has seemed to have dropped away substantially over the years and previous repairs haven't taken in consideration that the boat had dropped. So that's one of the jobs we have to tackle before we can put any ribs back in or put the transom back together again or any work in this general area. So this is what's got to happen. Take the tram skin off, unconnect the things across the transom from the starboard hand side, undo the planks off the starboard hand side where it's onto the framework of the transom and then put it all back together again once it's propped up in the right place so that it can be symmetrical with the poor hand side. The poor hand side although it appears to be the framework is very rotten and will have to be replaced at least that side is actually in situ as it was when she was built. So it's disconnect the starboard side, prop it up and make it symmetrical with the poor hand side after patterns are made of the poor hand side framework. Then that will be removed, re-put back in, re fastened to the planks and then the same thing will happen to the poor starboard hand side. Take the framework out position it back in the correct place, refix it and then we'll we have a fighting chance of getting the boat back in the right shape of the stern. Then we'll be bolting the boom shelf to the frames to strengthen the whole area up. But that's what's got to be done over the next few days and few weeks as we progress on this job. So without further ado, I'm going to sign out now and get on with the work. Hello, it's Simon again from Life of Gamble, so, look, so let's take a chance. Unfortunately at the moment I've been caught out by a rain shower which I hope will pass over shortly so I can continue on the work on the transom. So far it's going reasonably well with much of the plywood coming off quite easily apart from some bits which have well and truly stuck on. However, I've cleaned the beams off on the transom now, for most of them, and found that the port side appears to be mostly original, apart from a few little bits that have been put in sometime in the past. But the starboard hand side is a completely different matter. There is no quarter knee. On the port hand side there is. The, um, Gunnel or bean shelf is in one piece, not two, and all the bits on the port hand side appear to be original and in reasonable condition. Although they will need to replace it because they are getting towards the end of the useful life, and also much of the fittings put together in that area of the boat were galvanised steel. A lot of the galvanised has gone away, and the bolts are actually seized in the wood, which means they're going to be very difficult if not impossible to remove therefore when the teak deck comes off across the hole in the back of the boat which will be need to be done to protect work on the beam, deck beams and the transom that's going to be when we will make new knees for the quarter, quarters possibly this time made out of laminated oak rather than 
grown oak frames which is what they were originally made out of but such is life we, we can only help to get through all this somehow so that's it hello it's Simon again it appears that the rain's in for the day now and so I'm going to call it a day and come back early tomorrow and get on with the boat tomorrow because at the moment there's no point in getting wet it will serve no useful purpose and I can give more time to do some of the paperwork involved in doing this project such as uh, make replies to patreons and help forward my youtube channel and also other paperwork to do with my own business as well so I'm going to call it a day today and talk to you tomorrow.